It's the middle of February. I still spend days hiking with my father. My mother and brother are busy cooking at home. Neither let me near the kitchen and both have very different ideas about cooking. Mom, this is not organic, Panna says, picking up a can of coconut milk she hands him. Panna, is that same thing you get at Lori's? And you don't spend money, boy. Today, Panna is making vegan chickpea masala. My mom is making asha reshte. It usually goes down like this, almost like it's a cooking competition, like Top Chef. The two of them cook side by side, arguing half as much time as they cook, tasting each other's dishes and frowning and saying, needs more salt or too many onions. Today, the onion smell overwhelms Panna. He believes onions and garlic need to be used sparingly. I need onion and garlic to cook, she tells me. Does it smell like onion? It probably smells like a hundred onions. I can't tell, I'm surrounded by it. But whenever I leave the house and smell my jacket when I'm outdoors or even breathe into my mask, the first thing I smell is fried onions or Persian food, as I say in my mind. See, I don't smell anything, my mother says and shakes her head. Usually when my dad and I come home from our daily hiking journey, we're treated to two dishes. My mother's authentic Persian cuisine with onions, of course, and Panna's vegan delight. Neither of us is too particular. We've just hiked for three to four hours. We need the calories. We just consume. Then my dad usually says, don't give me meat anymore. I don't like meat. And my mom says, okay, you're going to see. You can't live without your chicken. You can't have gourmet sabzi without meat. I joke with my mother and brother during the pandemic that it would be good to have a real cooking competition. We can let dad judge which is best. What do I cook? Cook your best dish, my dad says. Today I filmed them a bit before the hike starting to cook up a storm. They're both controlling and meticulous. It's like watching two lab scientists designing a food vaccine for the boredom and grouchiness the pandemic breeds. My mother measures with her eyes. This much water, she says, and shows me her finger. This is how you know for rice. That's it? How much is that? It's kind of three-fourth of the, of the first part of the finger. Panna uses measuring cups and the best organic ingredients from Lori's, his favorite vegan grocery store. Mom uses a lot of salt and processed sugars. You don't want to eat that. It has aspartame. They often start bickering right away. I watch and think immediately of Laurel and Harding, Three Stooges, and Abbott and Costello. It's my own private comedy show. This is my favorite show on television, I tell them. This usually makes them laugh enough to stop fighting for a second. Then it's back to fighting again. This doesn't bother me in the least. I worked in a restaurant in my early 20s in Delaware and I learned that this was how it was in the restaurant business. Cooking could be stressful. I also figure this might be the natural state for any Iranian home when there are two unique chefs and one is already a lot of chef for such a small kitchen. I need to cook alone, Pirus, my relative in Iran tells me. I also don't like any mess around me. This is why I clean as I cook, but my mom cooks very fast. If I say I want pan kebab, she says, give me one hour. Then in one hour exactly there is pan kebab with tomato and rice right there on the plate. It takes me two hours to cook. I am very slow, but I am clean. The last time I was here in New York, my dad and I were alone. My mother had gone to Iran, so it was up to us to fend for ourselves. Like true cavemen, there was never anything in the fridge, and my dad's cooking was what he self-described as experiments for good reason. Pirus, I make you my pizza, he told me. It's the best pizza. When he served me burnt pita bread with ketchup and raw vegetables an hour later, I just laughed out loud. <laughs> Dad, this is ketchup. Just try. I bit into the pita and it shattered in my mouth all over the plate and on my pants. That's horrible, Dad. This one didn't turn out as good, he said, and looked over at his untouched pizza in front of him. You have to experiment sometimes. I'm glad there were no experiments today. My dad and I got back and there were two choices, chickpea masala and asha reshte. Which do you like better, dad? Both. Both? Yeah. You didn't even try the other one. If I hadn't come back to visit during the pandemic, I'd probably just say my mother would win without thinking about it. But Panna is definitely giving her a run for her money. It's okay. It's okay. My dad says. What about you, mom? I like Persian food. Always Persian food. I'm not harsh.
much on the top of the rice powder. But rice are different. Like if it's Show me your finger again. How much? 